Why did Tommy Chaos stop playing his vampires? Because he couldn't handle the Tommy Chaos. We're gonna watch a video because I'm personally interested in the King Tiger. What the fuck is a King Tiger? Why is there a King Tiger in Hell Boost? That's a big boy, man is the King Tiger tank. For many people, they consider this the ultimate development of German tanks. And a desire of Hitler's is a, really an order that has to be carried out. His desire in early 1943 is to see the massive L... Tommy K opinion, Chad is gonna go crazy because I'm saying this. Isn't this design? Shouldn't you make it more bouncing off? Look, the King Tiger looks like this, but wouldn't it be better to have it like this? To get more bounce-offs from rockets? I think Tommy K just proved he can make a better tank. In early the front armor is very thick though. Still just make it more uh, aligned, man. The massive L-71 Rheinmetall gun. It's an 88mm gun. Tommy, you're adopting Hitler? Tank. And what happens about that? It's already sloped. He killed slope it even more. To the Panzer Commission. There's discussions about this. They go out if you look at the Leopard A2 side profile. You see how much more slope that is? Look how sloped that is. The rocket mostly hits here. This is kind of dumb if you get hit here. But look how much more slope that is. Because that's modern design. You get much, much more uh, bouncer from rockets and, and pro projectiles. Design your own tank, Tommy. Look, later, later. The two companies that have built the Tiger One. More slope means less crew, though. If they can find a way of putting this new ATA gun onto a Tiger chassis of some sort. So it's all part of this, what's called overall, the Tiger program in the German military. Competed for the Tiger 1, they compete again, in essence, for the Tiger 2. Initially, Porsche's design, he's coming up with the same petrol-electric drive that he's been thinking about for his early submission for the Tiger 1. That's an ugly tank. Then goes into the elephant vehicle. He thinks that's a way to go. Um, he looks at that. He puts out a, a prototype. He actually does two variations of... We don't like to go to this museum and listen to this guy a lot. But I think if you go to tank museums and listen to people too much, you're a bit of a weirdo. You might be on a watch list. Types. VK4502 brackets uh -huh, uh -huh. P. That means basically the Porsche variant. Now, those vehicles totally are following. demonstrated in October of 1943. The prototypes of design work is shown to Hitler then. At the same time in the background, Henschel are looking at their designs. First of all, they suggest, why don't we just add some extra armor on the front of the Tiger I? Will that help do? Um, that's not good enough. That won't actually meet the bill. So Porsche's design, uh, it's exhibited. Um, he has two variants of it, one with the turret at the front of the vehicle, one with the turret at the rear of the vehicle. One of the versions has the engine, Look how much thinking the middle, there is into building a tank that's supposed to take over Euro, man. Uh, in the rear. So different ways of putting the combination of his petrol electric drive together. The Henschel version, after they've suggested this initial extra bit of armor, they then come up with the idea of stretching the Tiger One hull. They used an angle front. Um, they actually put the armor plate at about 50 degree angle and they actually angle the rear in a similar manner to what's going Jeez, on with the look Panther at that bad design boy, man. at that particular time. I can smell this guy. You know what I mean? I know exactly how this motherfucker smells. This this tank. This old metallic factory smell of like the 1940s, 50s. You know, like when your grandpa said, come on, son, I take you down to my to my workplace. Like that smell. That smell, you know? Interleaved old robots. oil, yeah. These now uh, actually are, are slightly different to what was done on the Tiger. They overlap, but they're not interleaved in between um, so that they, it was easier to actually get access to some of the inner road wheels. They need to do that because, again, the weight of this vehicle is increasing all the time. You need that level of suspension um, to spread the weight over the wide tracks. They look at the track issue. Again, they're going to do what GMI they've done with Tiger One. We have 80 centimeter wide tracks. This is so detailed, man. I was just looking for a basic overview, man. This guy's ready to build his own Tiger, man. Take over his little so city. Again, the side skirts would come off, smaller tracks put on, if we're going to transport that vehicle by rail, which is the usual way of moving big vehicles like this behind the lines and they're taken as close as they can to railheads behind the <coughs> battlefields before offloaded the transportation is <coughs> taken off and the wider tracks put back on now Henschel's design wins that uh, they're both uh, exhibited in October of 43 Henschel gets the contract for the hulls 
Um, the Porsche That's design. That's a bad fucker, man. That must have cost so much money just to, to get destroyed, man. Design at this stage of the war, just as earlier. Now on, it's your turn military, to build your very, tiger. Very, very nervous about the use of too much copper, which it's is like 15 euros. Um, I think it's 240,000 ice mark. Are going to be needing um, on the motors there, so the copper is not going to be available. 321,000. I wasn't even that far away, man. Worried about that, so they go for the Henschel design. It goes into production. In December, there must be millions today, yeah, like five million. Nah, not five. It's for 1,500 Tiger twos. Um, a couple are built just before Christmas of 1943. Three prototypes of the first vehicles to come out of the Henschel works. And we're very lucky here at the Tank Museum because we've actually got the wow, they have the second prototype, prototype man. Vehicle. Thank you, Sven, for your free man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so, so much, guys. V1, V2, thank you, thank you, V3. thank you. Three million are the vehicles that are actually test vehicles. V2 they have the uh, second prototype out of three. Test vehicle at if I was in the Moscow, I'd probably buy that. Um, rest of the war, it was captured by the British. Um, it was still being used for trials by the Germans, Chichi. and we're lucky enough to have that vehicle here. Now, in December of 1943, made two people go to server. Have been asked, could well, Fabian, if the server is dead, I can't play because the never sent me a lot they've originally game. come up with uh, with this new gun on. Now, Krupp. First of all, they don't like the idea of fitting a rival gun to their turret. So the Rheinmetall 88mm L71 gun, Krupp decides to redesign it. So they I always talk about this. One thing that's so weird in my career is I'm, I'm a World War II streamer. I got big in my life because of World War II. Yet the one thing I never got about World War II and World War II games is how all the equipment, all the time, man. You play Steel Division, Hell Let Loose, Hoi 4. It's like, hey, Tommy, you should get the 88mm XPG SPWG and put it on the HI no GAY hull. And don't forget the 55mm mortars it outproduces the warhead 59 of the americans like what what there's like a tank medium and heavy and there's guns what is all this shit all the time but like when you play steel division do you want to call the spis looks 588980 what who the fuck understands this shit man it looks very similar its performance is exactly the same as a rheinmetall gun and that's the gun they fit actually to their turrets again it's very that's important a big to fuck, emphasize man. krupp designs the german tank turrets Porsche, Henschel are designing for this competition Yacht the hull. Tiger. Very different things. These to names are so fucking. Because the turret that is put on that manly. Porsche design initially is often called by people the Porsche turret. Porsche had nothing to do with the design of that turret. And that's something that we've, in our Tiger display here, we've been trying to get across to people. So we perhaps, because it's a road. It's like you go in there with like your 15 year old Hoi Four son. It was like, I'm hacking games. I'm interested in World War II. Oh, you're telling me Porsche was not involved in that design? I know differently, man. Like, what, what the fuck? They're telling you that Porsche? What? It's really to call it That's Porsche so deep. Turret. He has nothing whatsoever to do with it. Krupp has the design process and he has the contracts for designing the turrets for the Tiger II program. The German military asked them to redesign the, the turret is... because they in don't there. like the shape of it. Oh, and shit, also, it's don't... production costs. The thing, that, the that, that thing even maker, moves, it's man. It's very complex. Now, when we look at that uh, early version of the turret, it's got a curved front to it. Um, that was considered a potential shot trap. Rounds coming in could actually be glanced underneath that curved frontature. And the other issue as well is the side of the turret has a bulge in it where the commander's cupola is. And that again caused much more trouble in its production process. So Krupp redesigns the turret to make it simpler to manufacture and to eliminate that shot trap. As I, dude, I just said that. You guys always talk shit. I just said this is bullshit because shots can be trapped in here. You need to make it like like here, so you can get the bounce off. Tommy K once again right. I'm a genius. You guys are all cool. All I know how to design tanks. The production turret. They've already built over fifty of the earlier models. You shouldn't have these so traps. Decide to use those first. They were thinking it might have gone on the Porsche design. They changed one or two small elements of it. Um, they thickened the roof armor, and then they're actually issued to the first 50 Tiger twos that Henschel actually. Are you so pissy today, Ben? Is everything so K Ben? Did something happen? You're so pissy today. You can see in some of the shots where the Tiger is used for the very first time in July of 1944 in the battles in Normandy. Very late.
the production turret, narrower front, the gun is slightly offset to allow the optic scope to be fitted. It starts with a binocular optic scope, but then it goes on to a monocular optic scope. I would like um, to see the, the scope. Gun we've mentioned, very they don't show that. Gun. One thing this museum should do, they should make a picture like on the wall, what the scope looked like when you look through it. Basically the difference between the L71 88mm and the Tiger 1 gun, the L56 gun, is the cartridge case is doubled in size. There's double the amount of propellant and that means a very similar size round comes out the end of that barrel with an enormous amount of force behind it. And it's actual velocity, it goes about uh, speed wise, you're looking at about you want to design my own tank on stream? meters a second. And that gun 14, 14. can take out most known allied tanks at a range up to three kilometers. Three kilometers, so that's man, a that's very, insane. very impressive. But you have to be a good uh, aimer, don't you? This tank's going to have being able to, if you've got that sort of distance to fire from, that's going to give you a huge advantage before any of the allied tanks can start getting in range. So very powerful gun. The armor that Henschel puts on it, you've got 15 centimeters of armor at the front there, angled at 50 degrees. I wonder what a tank like this would hold up today. I would think this tank just gets shit on today because I really believe tanks are not meta anymore. Uh, if you look at the Ukraine war, which is the latest uh, data we have on modern war, is you just get fucking bombed and drone strike, man. Tanks are fucking useless, I think. Only if you're green air. I would think if you have green air, I think this motherfucker will still perform, right? You can design tanks in S Procket. What? Oh, that, that sounds like a wet dream for a Hoi 4 player. Is that like what on the floor? Oh my god, whoa, you, whoa. I just do it in paint though. Armor on the sides and on the rear. Um, turret front mantlet, again, very thick, and they built this enormous uh, cast mantlet around the gun to help protect it. so massive, um, man. That narrow frontage Holy also crap. means you've got much Imagine more all this, I sound like a liberal right now, but imagine all this money invested strikes. in something useful, and man. And there's a general consensus that pretty much no Tiger II was penetrated on its front armor during the course of the war. Uh, statistically, we think... Wow, well, I just said I will have changed it, but if he says that, zero penetration on the front? Probably a discarding Sabo round with a tungsten core from a 17-pounder could penetrate the front armor. It's just so um, deep, that engagement never The 17-pounder, that's, so the that's the thing in Hell at Loose. Uh, 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 what's that? Man, this game. You know all these games, man. Hitler is influencing the design. He's insisting thicker armor on his tanks. Hitler's general view is every year he wants to see another generation of German tanks coming out that is going to leapfrog ahead and not allow Western allies tanks to either catch up or overtake his own tanks. In no, and, uh, in Steel Division 2, the 17 so pounder is so armor, good. I'm a huge very fan. Very powerful gun. They still use the Maybach HL 230 engine, the engine that's gone in the later Tiger 1s and into the Panther. Those engines there, um, when you're looking at it with a Tiger II, basically it's powering a vehicle um, that is 20 tons heavier. So again, that sense of the available power to get what becomes about a 68 ton vehicle around the battlefield. 68 again, tons you, moving, that I general census consensus. Holy shit. That really, this is not a powerful enough The human energy. mind um, is very creative in weapons of war. very again, similar to Tiger God 1. God damn, 68 um, the tons, Tigers, my say, they God. They go into action of July 44 for the first time. They're issued to heavy tank battalion, Schwed Panzerab um, normally about 45 tanks per battalion. The first engagement takes place in Normandy with a 503rd. Um, heavy tank battalion. This particular vehicle is serving with an SS battalion, heavy tank battalion, in Normandy. Um, it's being used by the 503rd. 45 tanks is one battalion. They are in retreat. We think this particular vehicle, the crew member drives it into a field near Beauvais. We're not too sure whether or not that's when the final drive was damaged by the crew member who may be inexperienced in it. Oh, they fucked um, it up? We know it didn't fight? There's an account that it's claimed by a Sergeant Roberts of the 23rd Hussars. They're in the field. They fire at the vehicle. We can have a look at the battle damage in a moment. Um, that vehicle, when it was firing at this vehicle, we think it was already abandoned by the Germans. Um, and again... Oh, it was like, like Russian style. They drive to the battlefield and then, oh shit, we're fucked up. And they just ran, ran away. We're doing a little bit happens of in Russia right now, in the beginning. Out why the 23rd of Ukraine, right? were in that part of Normandy Dude. at the time. Dude, fucking three million dollars and they just abandoned it. <laughs> According to their, battle, money. Uh, their war diary. So... These things again peeling away the layers about why. I would like to ask this man what he will change if he could. With them. It's Sometimes a weird question, you just make, but you a have good to one. Make sure that they're not confused with something else. So more research to be done there. 
The vehicle is photographed in the field where it's captured, so we have those photographs in the collection, and ultimately it's recovered and brought back to the UK as part of a number of German tanks that have been brought back from... Imagine you're the British or Americans, you see that tank, it's abandoned, but you probably still shoot at it, right? And then you're like, well, they're not shooting back. And then you just go there and you're like, okay, this $3 million tank just stands here. Analysis. And this particular tiger with its 104 on it ends up at the teaching academy at Shrivenham, where it was there for many, many years. Sadly, various inner components, engine, etc., were stripped from it over the years. Um, it's in good outside condition. It's got a reproduction Zimmerit coat on, not a bad looking paint Free tank, job. Easy. Um, but again, it's not quite as it was when it would Dude, in, that is so engineering, service. man. Holy shit. And about a decade or so ago, wow. it came down here. It's now part of the tank. I will feel so uh, down here at Bovington. Claustro cla no, not claustrophobic. So, an amazing is it claustrophobic? Piece, I would so, um, one you know, thing we just English. like to round up on. We're mm -hmm. here at Bovington. This is a teaching base, a teaching collection for the serving military. You can probably hear in the background, there's military vehicles driving around here all the time. Now, the issue for us is we use this vehicle as an example to teach to the modern military because this is an example of where technology has gone in a certain direction, the skill set needed not just to... Bro, if I would wear my beret like this, man, I would have gotten fucked by my general. We're like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Make this vehicle but to also crew it a very high. Now that issue, modern militaries are going to face again. If you look at it, the stats show that this vehicle would take about 300,000 man hours to make. 300,000, that is an awful lot of man hours. It cost about 800,000 Reichmarks to build. That's and fake again, news. That's about the Wikipedia price says, says 300,000. Tiger ones, a hugely expensive. What is the truth, you old man? Now, to give a bit of a comparison, 800,000 Reichmarks is about 330,000 US dollars in World War II. A Sherman tank cost about 32, 33 thousand dollars to make. A so Sherman is just 30 thousand dollars. What? I can buy one. And dude, this comes back to let's reveal of the Nazis megalo megalomania, megalomania. Hitler especially. Like, they always wanted everything bigger and stronger, which was just their small penises. They're coping, you know? Super Again, stupid. economics behind this. You could have made nine Sherman tanks for the one King Tiger. And that, again, as I come back to the modern military, these are lessons that they're having to pick up on. We're designing our own tank. Here we go. Here we go. I'm designing the Tommy K tank. First of all, it would be very, very important that all these, uh, I don't have to say English, that all these are not interconnected with each other. Not this one. So if a rocket shoots like these, these three are out, but these four can still drive. Very important. Now let's look at Tommy K's chassis. Chassis. It would be very, very curved like this. Very, very curved. Even here, very curved to get the bounce offs. Then there will be no dead room. So a rocket called hit. Here sits the driver. He sits in here. Bit taller, you know what I mean. Easy bounce offs. Like the rockets bounce, bounce, bounce. Then a strong turret, obviously. A strong turret. Commando outpost right here. There's a button where the driver, he can press a button here. And if you press the button, smoke grenades are hurled out in front of the, the truck. In, in front of the, the, the tank. And so that he can make smoke here. Rockets here. For long range distance. They can shoot rockets. <laughs> And there is a really cool device that flashes magnetic waves into the air. So a drone or jet will have weird static looking at this tank or, or, or locking on it. There you go, Tommy K tank. Let's check out the Panzer IV. Do please subscribe to the Tank Museum's YouTube channel. Better tank than you will make, okay? Fabian, make a tank right now and paint and send it to us. SDKFZ-161, known to most of us as the Panzer IV. And the Panzer IV That's is the that four tank, tank boys. that Germany makes the most of in the Second World War. About 8,353 of them are made. So He knows exactly the number. Holy shit. The this guy uh, is so researched in this stuff. They make more of 10,000 Sturmgeschützes are made. But this is that classic German tank of the... 
um, of the wartime era. Pussy. But actually, it's also a tank that sees action after the war in other armies. And the last time it sees um, it actually goes into combat is 1967. So it had a long old service life. Wow, well. wow. Um, now, if you've seen our earlier tank chats on the Panzer One, Panzer Two, even Panzer Three, we've talked there. Uh, Look a how lot small about they are, and now this motherfucker. Holy after shit! The First World War and their rearmament programs in the 20s and 30s, how they went about things, what their theories were. So I'd recommend having a look at those. Um, so I won't repeat everything, but broadly, the situation is in the early 1930s, under the influence of certain German generals, mainly Guderian, there is a push to put panzer units, panzer divisions together, and they are looking at uh, what they can build in terms of tanks to actually equip these new divisions and develop a new way of armoured warfare. Now, the Panzer I and Panzer II, in essence, become the training... Yeah, they look like old shit, right? They look like steampunk World War I shit. German ...military to get them used to. They want to build them in a relatively... That's why I don't hurry. build light tanks more for me. Panzer III and Panzer IV are ultimately going to be the tanks that they really want to equip the new Panzer divisions, um, even though the Panzer IIs actually are going to be using combat and Panzer Ones to a certain degree as well. Um, the, Pan the Germans lost 23,000 tanks in the Soviet Union, while the Soviets lost 82,000 tanks. Is that true, man? That is a crazy number, man. Holy Panzer crap. Three. Uh, Guderian argues we need a tank with an anti-tank weapon on it, uh, i.e. a gun on the turret with a 360 turning turret that is going to be capable of taking on other tanks should they meet them, but also supporting the infantry in the attack. And the Panzer IV is going to be a support tank, a tank that will carry a 7.5-centimetre uh, howitzer which will fire high explosives and that oh that's the spg version out, yeah that's the uh, anti-infantry version even i understand that panzer three's gun will not be able to cope with so with high explosive it tends to be things like um artillery positions buildings infantry in the open etc things like that so that would yeah. be yeah tell them to copy the furious three <laughs> piece of shit why game you need the panzer four and uh, as is the way in germany so it's january 1934 uh, the German military issue a requirement to industry. Um, three companies, some of whom already working on developments for tanks, uh, Krupp, Rheimatel, Borsig, and Mann, the, four, the third company, those companies are all approached with the idea of building what was then still under, because of the Versailles Peace Treaty issues, uh, under the, the, the idea of being it's going to be a medium tractor um, or uh, what's that mean? Medium tractor, um, big like vehicle, Wagen. It's basically his thing. So BW, a accompanying vehicle, goes out to industry and ultimately. It's a collector's edition. I want that. What the fuck? The contract. Initially, the Germans are tonight giveaway of collector's edition for Hero Three. One of their key engineers, Niekamp, his idea of the interleave road wheels, because, and this is another thing, when we step back, you can see the Germans are in a bit of a hurry to get this production going. They have lots of issues uh, in terms of finding factory space skills, um, engineering, you know, they're, they're, they're learning on the job, as it were, as you'll see in those other um, developments in the Panzer IIs and Panzer Threes. So they have issues here. So one of the things that Krupp... How's the giveaway work? Whoever can do the most push-ups push push wins. Get bar and interleague get going. Wheels, actually in the end Krupp goes for a very simple suspension system where actually either side we again man I'm not an engineer but isn't this kind of shit this one because it doesn't bounce off if a projectile hits right here man aren't you fucked or like here this is one of these so-called traps right the I will design this better on a hub arrangement I will design this and, better and uh, double road wheels and sort of four either side making eight sets of road wheels each side so things like that are you can see even in the development of the Panzer IV um, there is this idea of... Bro, it's 1934. Cut, what are you talking about, have to be idiot? Done in a manner, um, because quite simply, they just don't have the engineering capabilities. It looks cool, the though. Tools ...to manufacture everything. <laughs> you, you walk into World War Three with a fucking pink camouflage because it looks cool. Um, in now, real war, you have to quickly, think about efficiency. They're already starting to say, right, we can start putting this vehicle into series production. Um, and the Ausrung, or the Model A... The first major model. They only make 34 of these, but this idea that they, what they're going through is a series of, right, here's what we've got to so far, 
and then out will come the Alstrung B with improvements. Thank you. Ante Chante. Job, as it were, as Thank they're you. building these in the factories. Um, Pink Camo of Golden AK. Some of the problems, better, easier manufacturing techniques, etc. So that Alstrung goes through. And what you're really looking at, again, to step back from Alstrung A at the very beginning of the production series to Alstrung J. Oh, he means Ausführung. Really Ausführung. In armor protection. In firepower, this makes me want to play Air Force so bad. I just want to design tanks, man. I want, I want to play multiplayer and design tanks. Vehicle. That's what I want right so now they could make from more life. Of them quickly, and that tends to come in right at the end of the production series. So, can someone host a game tonight, man? What's up? Just basically the early ones. It's got a five-man crew. It's you've not got that easy. three in the turret. You've got two in the front of the tank. You've got a driver and a bow machine gunner next to him on the right-hand side as you're facing forward. Um, you've got there Damn, as well look at the shit, man. in that turret situation. The commander Must be so sweating in the there in summer. Of the turret, and he's given oh, it God. goes through a number of changes. A cupola to oh, there's a from Sherman. Either side of him, on his left hand side, again as you face forward, you can see that's where the gunner's position would be. Look at and that. on the right hand side will be Imagine where this guy in the, the desert yeah. position is. And one of the things that was picked up on when Panzer IVs were being captured by the British in North Africa. One of the things was the good ergonomics uh, was admired. The fact that that commander's position seems to have, being very central, high up, best position in terms of uh, viewing at the back of the turret, but he can also see down almost right the way through to the front. And again, little details like this were picked up on the, by the British. is very good because, again, we've mentioned it before, in the stress of combat, etc. you think, you know, OK, we've, they've got throat mics, intercoms, they're talking to each other, but sometimes it's a look, it's a calmness, it's a wink, it's a smile, it's whatever else it happens to be. And they could pick that up, that actually the ergonomics inside the vehicle okay, that sounds really good. very well designed. Um, they start the early models uh, with a Maybach HL engine. Uh, it's a 108. They later go to the 120 TRM engine that goes into the uh into how the much main stuff has been produced for this four. world war ii man um, like millions of tons of they war machine the turret slightly and the engine Holy in the opposite shit. side because the drive shaft that comes right the way through to the front has to go up the middle and if you imagine all the operations for the turret basket um below where you've got the uh rotary junction underneath the turret basket of course if you've got uh You've got to actually get that out of the way so you can maneuver There's a fridge for champagne um, in it. this drive shaft to the front. Gearbox is in the front and you can see the sprockets are on the front there. So in a way, it's what we would consider a fairly traditional Billions of tons? modern or World War II Probably. tank layout in the way it's put together. For armor protection, as I mentioned, it starts actually, the very early models, relatively thin. You've got about 15 millimeters of armor on the front there, slightly thicker armor actually on the turret. But it well, ends not that up, much. Uh, by the model Turm Ansicht von der Seite Ausführung D. Okay, um, to having hey Germans, can you speak? Can you read old German? It's easy, actually. It's not that hard to read old German. One sec. Möglicher Todesfall. Ein Mann von unmäßigen Gewohnheiten namens William Bechtel aus der Gegend von Bottstown, der an dem Gasthaus von Levi Savage da. da da hier eingelehrt war, ist am letzten Donnerstag, als er zu Mittag speiste, erstickte. Okay, yeah, I can kind of read this. It's weird, though. It's really weird. So that progression that goes on all the way through. And this again comes like Jake, what's up, man? Looking at the history, hey, tanks and PvP. The whole of German World War II tank what's up, history, dude? Um, the influence of Hitler. Hitler, again, it cannot be overemphasized enough how much... Uh, when Hitler says something, Hate it is tri it is enacted by Especially the German military and industry. And again, in 1940, it's Hitler who says, right, I want Panzer III's and Panzer IV's to be taken from a lower category of demand for a priority for the Thank German you, military into a higher category. Um, it is Hitler who then in the spring or i think it's about may of 1941 this guy knows a little shit imagine this guy streaming hope for he will get 5k viewers instantly man all you fucks will watch him that why not and i wouldn't try to fit the five centimeter anti-tank gun on the panzer four now that's an important decision there um, or an idea there because this video uh Marconi, yes sure it's a support video. a guy's asking for permission to use your youtube videos for a documentary about you Vehicle, it's supposed to have that short barreled L24 um, 7.5 centimeter. It's Grisha. And that was really, it could fire at other tanks. It did have an anti tank round. Tommy K exposed, really finally. High explosive Content capacity. cop. 
So the fact Hitler is now saying already you might be able to put an anti-tank gun on it, and that follows on. You mean you and not me? Of Russia in the summer of 19. Well, you can go sure, whatever. When uh, all the the KV tanks, T-34 tanks, and that, and this idea of we are going to need thicker armor, bigger guns to match the Soviet tanks, the better quality ones. That then goes back. Imagine being Germany, man. All your entire existence about good engineering, and then your tanks suck against Russian tanks, German bro. High command and Hitler is reading these reports again, and again the idea of the five centimeter gun is dropped very quickly, and Hitler then in the autumn argues um, to say put a seven point five high velocity gun, so same size as the hole at the end of the barrel, but seven point five high velocity. <coughs> much I can't follow gun. anymore, man. This is going to be the L. Hitler is like, I need a better gun, gun or some shit. He's going to go on this vehicle. I don't have enough piercing. Um, and it's developed. It's actually originally Krupp take a Rheinmetall gun and develop it further. And that is again at the instigation of Hitler because he is now looking at the Panzer IV. It's always it's interesting how we look at these documentaries like and it's like exciting and it's like tanks. And boys liking roles, war and stuff, right? Oh, look at this tank. But it's important to never forget what's happening here. They're fucking killing each this. other, man. So again, it's this shit is designed to kill motherfuckers, man. Following year in the spring, I think we often forget that when we look at these things. He sees the results of these putting Schutzen, which are basically thinnish armor plates are standing away from the main armor of the vehicle uh, on the side and on the turrets he then insists this can stop or it basically helps tumble russian anti-tank bullets uh, and he says right put them on all tanks so straight away that's another thing that influences the panzer four because then they start putting on schutzen on this and you can see it around the turret on this vehicle and that influences the Alsfrung, the next models that come out because when you put the side skirts on You'll be able to see it on this turret. It actually covers some of the vision ports and interferes with some of the operations of the tanks. So this shit is so deep, that. man. But if Hitler says it's going to happen, it happens again. So that, again, is another one of those things in the background you'll see. And again in 43, where Speer and Hitler at various conferences, they come together and they end up doing the Adolf Hitler tank program um, to see what tanks are going to be um, developed further and uh, again stopping making these huge numbers of varieties let's boil it down right from the early days the panzer four was looked at i don't know i often don't trust my own games because too many years with a view that this is going to be the basis for other types of well the most says he wants to play so germany that kind of shows me we should just not do it aircraft you know. mounts verbal winds etc put on it we see it as fucking verbal wind my fucking ass self-propelled artillery Piece of shit. Cetera, but that's in a way in a company story, um, from the main gun tanks now the progression of putting that new gun onto a Panzer IV. That starts happening with the Alf F. And the initial gun is um, it's a 7.5, as I said, anti-tank gun. It'll go through so deep uh, about... Uh, it's about like University, yeah, he, he kind of lost meters. me. It'll go through about 77 millimeters of armor plate with its armor piercing round. That is a huge difference. Uh, I think it's about 70% difference from the earlier short barrel 7.5, its capacity to go through armor. Um, you know, it's, it is a very effective anti-tank gun, and it means... Let's just play single player tonight. Let's not make a multiplayer game. It's going to be Africa. too fucked up. The British call them the Panzer IV Specials. Well, what do you guys think about this idea? When they see a tiger the tank only Germany. Game. Could that be fun? Because you know Marconi, he told me, and he's right, YouTube doesn't get that many views anymore. There's a new meta on YouTube. You have to do challenges now. Everything's about challenges. Yeah, tiger tank only Germany? That's, I kind of want to do that, man. Sounds fun. Landscapes, you can use the full range of that gun. Being knocked out at 1,000... Do Ragnarok instead? Maybe you're right. I really want to play Ragnarok. Like most of the British vehicles, the best gun they I'm going to think about it in my break. Coming in was going to be the 75 mm Heavy tank only, yeah. Tank. Um, so, you know, and that didn't have the same velocity and the same penetration as this, uh, as a new 75 on the Panzer IV. So we that was a problem at certain times. And again, if you read the accounts, when the new Panzer IV... Sint, Sint, Sint no, no, I'm calling a no. Sorry, I'm calling a no. I think it's so not it's worth it, one, in my experience. One, shorter barreled, Ausfrung... Two, but thank you, um, F2, sorry, has the longer 75 millimeter gun with a new high velocity. When they start appearing, you can see the crew reports are again. The bullets just fly by, man. What the fuck? All of a sudden, they now have a, a fire. What are they shooting? Can really I'm telling you, World War II was a lot about just randomly shooting shit, on. man, and hoping you hit something. On the Eastern Front and the uh, in the Western Desert as well. You know, the British and later the uh, American forces as well. That way that they can be. The game got cancelled in Valdemar called Germany. -tank gun with a good heavy gun. equipment only challenge. So only large airframes and heavy uh, tanks. It becomes kind of like the, the really important one to have a look at. Um, that gun, 
Uh, originally it comes out with a, uh, a round muzzle brake on the end, a slightly sort of bulbous shaped one. That reduces the recoil of the gun by about 55%, which again is one of those other issues. Because the Panzer IV, when it was originally made, had quite a wide turret ring, what ends up happening is instead of developing on the Panzer III, which although it does go through developments, it's the Panzer IV that has the bigger potential for further development. Um, so that is the one that takes forward. And ultimately, once you've got an anti-tank gun on it, it's overtaking the Panzer III's roles. It's no longer a support tank. It's actually doing what the Panzer III was origin originally invented for. And a lot of people comment as well, when you think of those two tank programs, the issues the Germans go through, what they ended up is actually two relatively similar um, tanks came out at the end of it. And again, you know, early days when you're... It's like a video game. They have, they have like tank DLCs, tank tank cosmetics. Hitler's like, every year I need the new add-on, bro. It's People have to pay. Tanks, Panzer III and Panzer IV. You, you know, need like a subscription or some shit, man. Shape, whatever. The Panzer IV is just a little bit bigger. And because of that, it has um, the development potential that the Germans actually take up on. Um, there's a newer gun as well, a slightly longer gun, an L48 7.5 is fitted later the following year and uh, that has a different muzzle brake and that's the type of gun that's on this tank here um, behind me, this particular Panzer IV. As the war progresses and Germany is getting bombed, it's Keep having picture. more problems with gaining raw materials. And yeah, bombing is so important to the production stuff. Man, I want to play her for so bad now. Sorry, he lost me. And Marconi has told me, man, he thinks this mod is really what I should do. I think that's what we're doing tonight. He said this is really good. TLDR, Germany versus the world. Build up your army quick. The whole world declares war on you, I don't know. Let's do that tonight. Fuck yeah, that sounds really sick. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez. Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.